lane. Welcome to my lane, where anything is possible and nothing is as it seems. I'm Freedom, and I'll be your host, coming at you from the super secret hideout. But um, welcome to my life's project, one experiment in my one act. A living storyboard, if you will. Its premise is that life is experiential, and that you can and do experience in life if you choose. It is based on the use of the real life, and the ads for the new millennium is life giving tools. Welcome to my life as an ITV Studios Geist House Players production in association with the Center for Creative Inspirationalism. Justice Productions, the parent company, would like to give a shout out to the following for their ongoing and oft times unknowing inspiration and support. Princess Cut Above, Princess Sunshine, Crazy and Company, The Shaman, The Pillar, Effin, Bob, The Warden, The Entire Butt, Butt, Butter Clan, Fairy Princess, Professor Siggy Chong, Hoagie Snowflakes, Barry Wences, Lots of the Band, Man, and General Ralph Blossom, may they rest in peace. The Looch, The Bassett Down, Burke Tong, The Beaker, The Cornbread, Andy Pandy, The Mutter Season, Oh Danny Boy, St. Diane, and You, Brother John, Thing One and Thing Two, The Nameless One, All the People in My Neighborhood, White Girl, The Anomaly, The Quitter, Good man, Charlie Brown, The Rocks, CCPA, the PA, FNA, MPDT, Chanel Number no. 5, Superstar, Sir Richard Slouch, The Wixians, The Socialite, The Village of Idiots, Pinsnipper, Dancing Queen, Downtown Encyclopedia, Brown, The Legendary, Pink Elephants, Mama Rabbit, The Wisconsin Bell, The Babes, and of course, a very generous sponsor who not so much wishes to remain anonymous. It is. Wednesday, November 27th, 2019. Time divided. It is a day before. It is the day before Thanksgiving. If I'm going to be technical, it's been the day before since last night. So anyway, it's a day before, and I find that interesting. I find that interesting because of where I kind of am in my life right now. If I'm not mistaken, it's also a new moon. Fascinating. Oh, I love when things just kind of line up on their own and I don't have to look for it. Anyway, uh, so to kind of bring you up to speed with last night, I want to thank everyone. Uh, uh, a number of people kind of reached out after the video went out last night, shared their thoughts and opinions, and, and I appreciate that. Uh, it, general consensus seems to be to go with the distributorship, and I do, that is currently, right this moment, my plan. However, I called the number they left in the email they sent me yesterday, and uh, I didn't get an answer. I think I got a voicemail. I'm going to have to try back. So, But nonetheless, I have until like 11 o'clock, 1030, to make the official decision and call. I just don't want to make the official decision and call and not actually have a job. <sighs> never easy it's always something however here so here's part of the story from yesterday that you don't know and I keep thinking they called and they didn't call it was an email I received but I was wrestling with this yesterday morning like I was looking at the situation and I was looking at the reality although I was reminded this morning that reality is not something that is it is something that can be uh, so I was looking at the reality of the, the drive and the job situation and where it was really going to leave me and everything I was thinking people said yesterday, like the car is already not in good shape. It's a lot of wear and tear on the car. It's a lot of gas mileage in a car that is already having gas problems. Uh, you know, there's snow and ice coming. It's not necessarily reliable. If something, somebody made a point I didn't even think of. Brother John, thank you, and also thank you for the, for the cot. I have a cot now. I'm not sleeping on the floor anymore. That might explain the energy this morning. Uh, <laughs> I slept good. It, no lie, it was almost like sleeping on a cloud. Anyway, uh, so I was wrestling with it already yesterday morning, and I was going to try to reach back out to the distributorship and, and see... Uh, because I, I, I've never, I've never in my life made a decision based solely on money. <sighs> One cannot serve mammon and God at the same time. 
But the warden made a good point. All my faith and all my taking chances and all, all of the... For how many years, where has that gotten you? I don't know. That's a whole other thing. Like, no, it hasn't made me any money or put me financially in a good place. But man, let me tell you, it's been an experience. Uh, I say it all the time. So that's hard for me, and I don't mind that. But I think, I think the risk of the drive, plus the time invested in the drive. I had one person reach out who's made that very same or similar drive uh, from the valley down that way, and he's like, "Dude, it's not. It's not worth it. it, it you, you're going to make yourself miserable. You don't know it yet, but you will." He's like, "I did that for years." And it, all right, fair enough. So I was wrestling with all of this yesterday morning, and but I didn't have any of my emails or any way to reach out to them, so I was like, okay, whatever. But it was still on my mind, and, and I didn't know what was going on. And so I asked, I asked for a sign, and it wasn't long, like a definitive sign. It wasn't long after that I got the email. Uh, then a little while later, I went on Facebook, and the first thing I see is an ad an ad for a third-party job site but they're advertising this place uh, like I think it, as strange as it sounds I really feel like spirits pushing me back towards it my question then is well then why go through all of this Wisconsin made the point maybe because now you can appreciate like this is where I need to be this is where I'm supposed to be you wouldn't have quite you would have questioned it before like, is this really the job I'm supposed to be at? Is this really where... And you would have gotten restless. Now I know this is kind of where spirit wants me. I need to go and do it for however long it is. Uh, it is definitely a gift. Like, don't get me wrong. It's going to be like, I don't know, five, ten hour days, ten and a half hour days, whatever. That's cool. The money's good. And it is a gift because I will make money over the next several weeks and I can get myself <sighs> right what I'm always wishing for is money and here it is and I'm ready to walk away from it I, I think too that I have to remember it's not a lifelong commitment it's a stepping stone and right now the stepping stone is money to get myself back on track so that maybe I can do the things I want to do I've been given lots of things and options and opportunities and so right now what I need to do today is I need to make this job thing happen. I hate doing it. I don't want to have to call the parent company and tell them I, because I can't give them notice. It's Sunday. If it's starting, it's starting Sunday. Uh, but if I can secure that job, then that's what I'm going to do because I just and even if I can, this morning to make sure I secure that job uh, because I am going to have to make the call that I don't want to make. Anyway, that's kind of where we're at at the beginning of the day. Let's let's see what progresses. Uh, if I do secure this, there will definitely be time for a video later on and I'll, I'll update you. Uh, but let's, I think I want to see the progression actually of the next three days as a whole because I did at the beginning I acknowledged and I realized that we are in a day before day of day after cycle right now uh, so technically it can be the whole day but it usually the energies run from sunset so sunset last night to sunset on Friday before day of day after so sunset tonight will begin the day of you got all that okay so if you're not already there go to the welcome to my life facebook page wtml or the youtube channel welcome to my life wherever you are and whenever you are like comment and share there is a destination it takes you to get there so without hesitation Always from here in the super secret hideout. This is your beloved Rev and Walt und Doc and Johnny saying stay tuned in fellow travelers and wishing you peace, love, light, and 
freakishness, baby.